Hi, and welcome to the Kane and Gordon Show, today's best country mix. And joining me right now is Helena Mace. Hey, Helena, how are you today? I'm good. How are you, Kaden? Doing good. Thank you so much for asking. So kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into music. Okay, well, I live in the south of England and I've been doing music uh, for a long, long time. And my, my dad, dad was a singer songwriter in the 60s and 70s. Um, when I was born later on, he used to take me to gigs all around the, um, around the place. And I kind of just got it from there. I'd been writing songs and doing acting at school. And uh, then when I left school, I left it for a bit and then just started writing, playing guitar. And uh, it just all stemmed from there. And I'm now working on my fifth album, so <laughs> which is all good. Mm -hmm. What do you most enjoy about music? Um, I like the process of writing music. I like the creation of something from pretty much from nothing. So I like the build up, um, layering it down and then having a finished product at the end of it. I think that's got to be the best. And also live performances. And um, that's always the, obviously the, one of the best parts is to sing your songs live to people. Mm -hmm. Helena, do you have someone or something that inspired you to start doing your music? Um, I've got um, acts, sort of artists that I'm very inspired by, such as Fleetwood Mac. Um, I love Fleetwood Mac. I love uh, the Eagles. Um, I love all that kind of stuff. But I, I do like country. Um, I do a lot of country music, folk kind of music. So I'm kind of a sort of genre bl blending, really, I should say. Mm -hmm. What do you most enjoy about music? Um, I think, again, the creation and performance of it. I think once you've done basically created something that you wrote um, and get the finished product and then you get out on stage and perform it. I'd say that's got to be my favorite, especially when it's all your own work. Mm -hmm. What does a typical day look like for you? Okay, well, I live in the sea, so I do tend to go for walks. Um, I play my guitar. I'm actually working on an album at the moment. So I spend a lot of time indoors kind of uh, working on that, um, getting it ready, which I'm hoping to release next year. So uh, I tend to spend a lot of my day with music. Um, and then uh, in the evening I perform. What would you be doing right now if it wasn't for music? Do you kind of have like an idea? Well, I used to be uh, a financial advisor, so I'd probably be still doing that if I wasn't doing music. I work in finance and that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I'd probably have a, a regular job. What are your hobbies and interests in your, um, like, what do you like to do outside of music? Um, I love to go for walks. I like running, uh, the gym work. I like horse riding. Uh, so uh, I play my guitar. But yeah, mostly I like to be outdoors. I live by the sea. So uh, I'm very lucky to be in such a nice place. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give someone that might want to start singing, Helena? Um, I would say if it's something you really want to do, just keep at it. It's a lot of hard work, um, but just keep going. Uh, listen to music all the time. Get inspired by other artists as well. I think that's really important. Um, but if you like it, do it. That's the best thing to do because it's um, therapeutic. It's good for your mental health. Um, it's good um, just to be able to create something or sing other people's songs if that's what you want to do. Everyone starts somewhere. And I do sing other people's songs as well because I do it for a living. So keep at it and listen to music as much as you can. Where do you see yourself for the next five to ten years? Um, I would like to have a couple more tours and more albums. Um, I say I'm on my fifth now and I hope to release that next year. Um, more live performances. And I really want to come over to the US at some point and perform. That's definitely what I'd love to do. Have you ever been over here in the US or? Only for family holiday. I've been to Florida twice <laughs> and I'm coming oh, back nice. in a couple mm -hmm. of years. Yeah, but I'd like to actually come to and see a bit more of America, not just Disney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot around here. That's for sure. Yeah, there is. And I'd love to see it. I'd love to perform out there as well. Mm -hmm. If you could go open a show for any artist, who would you choose and why? Oh, OK. Well, I would love I love Miranda Lambert. Um, I think she's a brilliant songwriter. I think she's very classic country. Um, so that would be the country side of it. I think like that. I mean, obviously, if the, if the original lineup would fleet with Mac. I'd love to open for them. Who wouldn't? And but um, I think it's just an honour to, to open up for any established act, really. Absolutely. What is one message that you'd like to give your fans or anyone listening, Helena? Well, I'd like to say thank you for a start because my last album got to number one over here in the UK chart. So everyone who supports it, downloads it, um, anyone who buys or listens to my music, anyone who supports it. I mean, without them, I, you know, I wouldn't have any success. And also to people like you, to radio for helping to support and play my music because, again, it gets it heard. And uh, I'm getting quite a lot of play in America. And it's been amazing that people have taken a little British girl on board. <laughs> 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 absolutely i totally agree with you with that have you ever participated in any uh, music competitions 
I did um, X Factor over here quite some time ago. I didn't really get anywhere. And The Voice I've done before. And years ago, I did like singing competitions. I won a few of them. Um, and it was a good experience. It got me used to singing on a stage in front of people. So they have their place. Do you have a favorite song that you have released? Um, I think from my Unbroken album, it would have to be the song Unbroken because it's a very personal journey and save it for another day off the same album. I'd say they're probably two of my favorites. And how long have you been doing this for, by the way? I've been writing songs ever since I was a little girl, um, but I've been releasing songs ever since I think about 2008. Um, but most recently, I've done five albums in five years <laughs> recently, so I've been really busy with it. What skills do you think that are very important that help you in your career? Um, I think for writing songs, it's got to be life experience, having things to write about and um, performing. You do need the confidence to perform. That can take time to get used to because it's kind of weird. Um, but once you get used to it, I think, again, getting out there and being fit and healthy as well, because you need to have stamina um, to be on stage performing. But life experience, the more you live, the more you can write. Mm -hmm. And do you have a favorite venue that you have performed at? Um, yes, I've got a couple down here in the South Coast, um, one called Madding Crowd, which I did uh, quite recently. Um, and there's also a couple of theatres. I like the theatre as well. So I've done a few of those where I did my album launches and they were really lovely. It's a great big stage, lighting, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I haven't been anywhere out of them. I've been in Germany a couple of times or several times actually and performed and they were great venues as well. What's next for you? Do you kind of have an idea of what's going to be happening in the next couple of months? Yeah, well, I've got um, a busy Christmas, obviously, because I've got, yep. a single, mm -hmm. sing I've got a single coming out on the 29th of this month called Snowfall. So I'll be promoting that. I've got lots of live performances as well, um, covers as well as my own stuff. I've got my own concert, a couple of sellout shows, which is great. And in the new year, I'm hoping by the summer to release another album and then another Christmas album later next year. So I'm going to be very busy next year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Describe your creative process when you create new music. Sometimes things just come to you. I think as a songwriter, there's a different process every time you write. Sometimes I can be just playing with my guitar and then suddenly a melody will come in. So I think, oh, okay, I'll record that on my phone. That's the best way to do it. Or sometimes I have lyrics and the lyrics will just come to me and then I just put the melody to that. So, it, and something I'll just, it, sometimes it'll come to you in the middle of the night, <laughs> which is mm -hmm. quite annoying. <laughs> <laughs> what qualities do you think make you a good musician? practice um you know I've, I've not been playing guitar very long really um so it's just constant practice um and just keep trying because you don't have to be an amazing guitar player or an amazing piano player you just need to know enough to be able to play live and to be able to write your own stuff so it's just practice definitely mm -hmm. have you ever been able to mentor or train another musician and if so what did you do to help them Yes, yeah, so I used to run a um, couple of competitions for youngsters um, that just wanted to get out on the stage. Um, it was called Star Sensations. And it was like the X Factor kind of style thing, but it was run by myself and a friend. And it was mentoring children as young as sort of eight or nine um, to get on stage. And some of them were just absolutely fantastic. I mean, they were so, so good. And a lot of them didn't need the mentoring. They had it there already. But uh, it was it was nice to get involved and be an ambassador for that kind of thing to support youngsters because it is hard out there. And the more support, oh, yeah. the better. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. It is definitely hard. There are so many artists and musicians out there that, yeah, you know, it's hard to get in, but I, I love how you did that. I really do. Thank you. You're very welcome. What is the best piece of advice that another musician has ever given you? I think very similar, actually, is just to keep going and to just keep writing as much as you can, because the more you put out there, the more like you, someone will hear it. Um, it's constant just to be driven. I think you've got to grab every opportunity as best as you can. And I think that's probably the best advice is just to stick at it and work mm -hmm. hard. Always got to work hard. Absolutely. How would you describe yourself? Um, I'm, very, I'm very creative. Um, I'm very good at um, kind of grabbing opportunities so I'm, I'm quite look at I, I'm very good at like, being quite tenacious so if something comes up I think oh okay I'll get on that and I'll try I'm quite well organized um in a way and uh, also I've just I'm quite determined as a character you know I, I think I really want to do this and it's now or never and you've got to do it you know you've got to only live once don't we so you've got to grab every opportunity as best you can mm -hmm. I totally agree and Helena is there anything else that I forgot they like to share with us today <laughs> 
Um, no, just to let you know that obviously Snowfall comes out on the 29th of November and I hope you can play it and enjoy it and people will support it and download it. It's a very folky kind of uh, wintry Christmas number. So um, there'll be a video going up on YouTube, etc. on the 29th as well. So um, we've got a very wintry kind of snowy video to go with it. So I hope you'll enjoy it and get on board. And thanks again for everything. You're very welcome. I'm happy to help you out. And I'm <laughs> super you. happy to have you here right here on the Caden Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. We appreciate your time to talk to us today. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Caden. Take care of yourself and I'll speak to you soon.